600 years ago, in Joseon times, there was a scientist who changed time. His name was Zhang Yongxin. He created the sundial and the water clock. In 1421, the third year of King Sejong's reign, King Sejong was gathering the nation's most talented scientists in his palace. King Sejong wanted to create astronomical tools and timepieces using Joseon's own technology for Joseon's future. Zhang Yongxil's first task was to create an accurate timepiece. The sun's shadow had been most widely used to tell time. Zhang Yongxil built the Yangbuilgu, a sundial. The sundial is semicircular with four legs. The Yangbuilgu divides the sun's yearly path across the sky into 24 15-day seasons. Around June 21st, when the sun is highest, it is Haji. Seven perpendicular lines were drawn, and people could read time by comparing the line to the sun's shadow as it moved west. The principles are in accordance with the sun's diurnal motion. As daylight hours decrease with colder seasons, the shadow becomes longer. The sundial was more scientific and systematic than any other timepiece made. But the sundial had its limits. On cloudy days, the sundial was useless. Zhang Yongxil began thinking, how could people tell time without the sun? The Jagyongru was the first water clock and used a very complex mechanism that included pumps, measurement buoys, props, and devices for transmission and time signaling. When water is released from the Pasuho, it enters the Susuho, and the measurement stick comes up. The buoyancy pushes aside steel marbles to tell time. This is the focus of Jagyongru. The buoyancy is delivered to the lever and marbles, and the marble falls to deliver power. Then three wooden dolls hit a bell, a drum, and a gong to signal the time. The water clock was more precise and scientific than any timepiece made in any other country. It was more than a clock, it was time itself.